Hi guys, Ben Wood here from Handspring Gymnastics and I'm going to reveal to you five very important tips when it comes to mastering the freestanding handstand. So the first tip is posture. What does posture mean? Posture means a couple of things. First of all, we want to have some correct hip tilt. So we want to have that posterior pelvic hip tilt, make sure the hips are rotated under. We don't want to be too piked. We don't want to be arched, but we want to be just right in the middle. Okay, when we get those hips tucked under and we open up our shoulders, we then bring into account the middle of the back. So the middle of the back, the lower mid traps are super important when it comes to getting your handstand looking strong, looking straight, and hence being stacked. So we got to do a lot of preparation there in the middle of the back with the hips, everything to sort of get you better control, get you better awareness when you're in space and upside down and have a, have a really strong handstand. Uh, the one thing I say to a lot of my clients is the stronger your back is uh, with everything else being constant, i.e. having nice open shoulders and all that mobility in place, um, the stronger your handstand will be, okay? So posture is really key, number one. Number two is shoulder elevation. So shoulder elevation ties in with posture. Shoulder elevation is all about pushing tall. So if you flip me upside down, I wanna push the floor away. I wanna push against gravity. So the, the, the further I can push, the more I'm gonna bring myself into a nice straight line. Because if I depress my shoulders, if I allow them to sort of sink down or allow my body to sink down to the floor, what happens is my shoulders start to close and hence more weight is coming towards my, uh, my shoulders. So it's sort of, you know, you're leaking a little bit of energy there, you're working harder, you're a little bit inefficient because all that strength and all that, sh all that pressure is going towards the shoulders versus pushing against gravity and kind of locking in. So sort of a depressed position versus pushing tall and all of a sudden you, uh, yeah, you get a lot more straighter and stronger. So it all comes from the ability to elevate the shoulders. Now, what I'm doing here is it's not just about pushing them up, but it's about pushing them up whilst your hips are tucked under and your arms are open. So everything's got to be straight. And that, that, when you load that up, particularly upside down or with some small dumbbells, that becomes really challenging. So it's a really, really important thing. It's going to make you stacked. And also when it comes to transition work, if you want to take your hands off, and that is a key drill on the uh, freestanding journey, especially if you want to walk, you need to be able to shift all that weight across to one arm, bring that body underneath that one arm. In order to do that, you've got to have that shoulder touching your head. So you really got to go super tall with that arm not just both arms, but each arm one at a time. Number three is head position. Head position is really, really crucial. Again, it ties into the other two really important components, the posture and the shoulder elevation, because if you don't have the head in the right position, it's like walking around like this. You're just gonna bang into things. You're gonna have a loss of balance, a loss of sense of balance and awareness, and uh, you'll sort of just have no idea what you're doing. So it's really important. Head is always neutral. We call it neutral in gymnastics. You wanna cover up your ears, and you're gonna see those fingers just in your periphery. Okay, I don't wanna see your ears like this because your head's sticking too far out. Or if your head's down like this, okay, you're going to see uh, behind you and then you're gonna lose that balance is really hard. So you just gotta have your head in one spot. Every drill, every exercise, head in one spot. Number four is your hand position. So your hand position, shoulder width apart, not too wide. We're not doing our CrossFit wide arm push-ups, so we gotta have them in. Okay, we need to have our fingers forward and we need to bend the fingers. So if you're doing freestanding, you wanna sort of bend the fingers so you can dig the fingers into the ground, okay? Not flat. If you're walking, yeah, fingers can be out the side. Fingers and hands become irrelevant when you're walking because you're just falling forward. But when you're doing a freestanding, you've gotta dig your fingers in just like you would dig your toes into the ground to prevent yourself from falling over. So you scrunch your toes up and you push in. So you need to use your fingers, use that forearm. And the last tip guys, number five, is keeping tight. So what does keeping tight mean? That means squeezing everything, squeezing from your glutes all the way down to your feet, squeezing, using that core, using your glutes and, and just holding. So you're firing up all that connective tissue around your body to make your body one single unit. If you're one single unit, you're gonna be really efficient and really tight. And therefore, if you have any 
sort of wobbles, you don't completely fall apart, okay? We don't want to do what's called leak energy. So if you've got any uh, unwanted hinge points, you know, if you're bending an arm, if you're leaning forward with the shoulders, if you're arching your back, bending legs, any of these sort of unwanted hinge points, you leak energy out and instantly you're inefficient. So you're working a lot harder, using more energy in the body, using more strength to hold something up. Doesn't mean you can't do it. As I said, these are five cues to make you more efficient. It's going to make your journey to mastering the handstand a lot more effective and a lot more efficient and uh, make you look, give you a sense of finesse on the other side, okay? You're not going to get there overnight, but if you keep progressing through, follow a plan, follow a program, get some coaching, and your handstand will be awesome.